Now please um, help me welcome Jason Dennis, who will be performing um, a original poem that we wrote called I Am. Africa, noun, the second largest continent in the world, the only one to lie within all four of the Earth's hemispheres. Comprised of 54 nations, that's six more than Asia, 19 more than both North and South America combined, and four more than Europe. Home to the seventh most populated nation in the world, yet some people still have the audacity to act as if all of Africa is the same. Africa is rich in gold, in oil, in culture. Africa is diverse. With over 1,500 recognized languages, we are more of a melting pot than most places will ever be. There are more people speaking French in Africa than in France itself. We are the location of the origin of man, the longest river in the world, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Jamaica, now, an island that sits beautifully in the sweet sea of the Caribbean, a place built on the sweat of slaves imported from West Africa once ruled by the British, but has now celebrated over 50 years of independence. Since the 1950s, over a million have immigrated to places across the globe in a diaspora. Many came to US, specifically New York, just like my parents did. Nigeria, noun. The most populated nation in Africa and the seventh most populated nation in the world. Located in West Africa, comprised of 36 states and home to more than 370 ethnic groups and tribes, including Igbo, which I am. The, the homeland of my parents, the place of my descent. But having, having been, been born and, and raised in America, America there's, there's always, always been, been a, a disconnect. disconnect. Jason, now, a guy who has grown up in a world where people think they know more about him than he does himself. A place where his story is told before he can even take a breath. There was a time when he lost his voice. No one noticed the noose around his smile behind the suffering smile, the noose around his soul behind the suffering smile on his face. He kept hearing, oh, you're smart for a black guy, as if the two were mutually exclusive, but it seemed like maybe his environment just wasn't conducive to progress. It's all just a mess, and he's sick of it. It's like a ghost that, that haunts him, or better yet, taunts him. There is always a software server in the back of his head. Amanda, noun, a girl, who is, a girl who has grown up in a society that has conditioned her to be ashamed of her skin. Almost as if her melanin were a sin, she tried to blend in, but something just didn't fit and it always felt like it was her. They tell her, you're pretty, but I'm not into your race. As if hearing that doesn't leave, leave a bitter aftertaste in her mouth. She's had to lie about the pronunciation of her full name simply because it was too difficult for the Western tongue. She got tired of correcting them, so she just let it slide, but how many times has she wondered why people just didn't care to learn how to pronounce her name in the first place? And wait, and wait. You, don't you don't act, act like, like your, your own race, race is, is not, not a compliment. compliment. Oriole, noun, slang, derogatory a person who is regarded as having the attitudes, values, and behavior thought to be characteristic of middle-class white society, but still suffers from the condition of having too much melanin. Nigga, noun, informal, offensive. A respelling of the word nigger, a contemptuous term for a black or dark-skinned person. So, so the, the next, next time, time you think about calling me, an Oreo, your nig, your black friend, or anything other than my name, don't. don't. Because, yes, yes I, I am black. black. That, that is, is a fact. fact. But, but we, we are, are more, more than, than what you see. see. Look, Look me up, up in the dictionary and you'll see that I'm, I'm also African, Jamaican, Nigerian, an engineer, a writer, extraordinary, a visionary, a son, a daughter. But, but most, most of all, I am me. me.